This video is about using the text box tool to enter text on a slide in PowerPoint 2013. What I'd like to do is duplicate the text that you see on the Kofi Annan slide on your screen. Uh, to do that I need to, um, for demo purposes, create a new slide. So I'm clicking in the thumbnail pane under the existing slide on the Home tab coming up, clicking the drop down under New Slide and choosing the blank layout. Now in practice it's better to use the title layout so that all of your slides have a title and for the slides that you do not want the title to appear on simply drag that title container off the slide. Now, that'll be the topic of another video later on but for now I just want to demonstrate how to use the text box tool. So let's go to the insert tab that's where it's found over here in the text group we click on the text box tool and when we move the cursor down onto our slide we see it becomes an inverted cross and that's the uh, cue that we're uh, using the text box tool. I can do two things now. I can either click and a text box appears with the insertion point in it and I can simply start typing. Or, and now let me get rid of this uh, first one I put on here, I can go back to insert, click on text box, and hold down the mouse button and draw a bounding area for the text I expect to type. Now let me show you what happens when I do start typing. You see it contracts to a single line. And then as I type and it reaches the border of the line, uh, watch this, it will wrap around and stay within that bounding width. Okay, so that's uh, another way to enter text. Now let me go back and show you that first way. I'm going to insert, click text box, simply click once on my screen and start typing my text. And if this is how I start using the tool, it will just continue to be a single line without line breaks and without wrapping and it will just type right off the edge of the slide if I go on typing. Uh, but I can control that um, by uh, entering carriage returns. Now I'm going to press enter as a carriage return and watch what happens. Press enter, a new line is formed and I'm going to type the rest of the quote. And you see there when I typed the word of in this quote uh, it was capitalized and that was caused by the hard carriage return at the end of the first line. Now I could fix that by moving up to that capital O, clicking the autocorrect options button and uh, tell PowerPoint to stop auto capitalizing the first letter of sentences. That's a bit annoying though. The better way to do it, and I'm going to delete what I put here, is when you reach the end of a line and you want to break using the text box tool, hold down shift and then press enter. That's a soft carriage return. And then as I continue typing, it does not capitalize. So that's a little tip for you. In every shift enter, society, in every family. Okay, that's the end of our quote. Now we see we've forgotten to enter quote marks, so I'm going to put one at the end, hold down control and press home to jump to the beginning of my quote, put my other quote mark, hold down control and press end to jump to the end again, and in this case I, uh, a hard carriage return is fine, so I can press enter and put our tilde and type Kofi Annan. Okay, there's our quote. Now one thing we can do is click the borders of it so the border becomes solid and instead of Century Gothic 18 point, which is a much too small a font size for a slide, let's expand it up to about 40 point. And you can see once the border is selected, every change that I make will affect the entire contents of the border. Of the, of the text container. And if I pull my border out, nothing really happens in terms of reformatting because I inserted those soft carriage returns. Had I just typed the single line using the first technique I was demonstrating, pulling the borders out and in would cause the uh, quote to wrap. If I, if I push my borders in inside the margins, it will in fact wrap and try to fit a new container. But those uh, carriage returns I put in there won't be violated as I pull my container out. See, that's the difference between the two techniques. And to finish our job here, we can click in front of Kofi Annan and press Tab about three times. 
And now that looks about like we want the text to look on our slide.